Today we're going to be talking about how to deal with loneliness as an artist. Before this video gets started, I want you guys to make sure to like this video as well as subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my sample packs, electroniksamples.com at the top of the description. Best sounds in electronic music. Promise you make a better track if you grab something from there today. Thanks for the support guys. And let's get started. So, yeah, artist life. Very lonely. I know it. You guys probably know it. We've all felt it. If you do anything artistically, you've probably felt this. It sucks sometimes. It can be brutal. And it's hard because the thing is, like, you really are the only one that understands what you're going through. Even other people that even make the same type of music as you. Like, we're all on a different timetable. We're all doing things differently. And it can be very hard to relate to people when you're doing this. It's just like, a fact of it, right? Artists' life is extremely lonely. They've been saying that for hundreds of years, thousands of years probably, right? And I think the first point here is you really need to honestly kind of just accept that. Like, life is lonely. Like, hey, Nas said it best. Like, born alone, die alone, you know? Like, we really are truly alone. Even when you're with people, even if you have somebody right next to you hugging you, man, like, you kind of are still alone. And we need to accept that, but with that acceptance, you also have to have a gratitude and kind of like have perspective. It's like, yo, we're lucky even just to have passion to wake up for every day. You know, it's like, it's very easy to see what you don't have and maybe say, oh, well, you know, I'm so lonely. Artist life is lonely, this and that, right? But just the fact that we even get to wake up every day and do this for a living and make music or make whatever kind of art you make is enough. I think if you really take that in, and feel that through your whole being, you will kind of, a lot of those complaints will start to fade away because, you know, a lot of people don't even have, like, a passion. Like, they don't even have that thing that they're, like, really in love with and chasing every day. And I'm not saying they're wrong for that. I'm just saying, like, we are lucky that we get to have that. So you need to keep that in mind. Gratitude and kind of understanding, like, yeah, the world is a terrible place. <laughs> like, life is really hard, but that's just the way things are, but at the same time, like, if you have that perspective that we're lucky even just to get to do this, even, not even if you get successful or famous, but just the fact that you woke up and there was something you wanted to do and you loved it and it's, you know, your passion, man, like, lucky just to have that. And I think when you really take that gratitude in, and don't just hear me saying that, but really think about it, pause the video even and just think about that, like, you're gonna see, like, yeah, the world's tough, like, life is lonely, like, born alone, die alone, but, man, we're lucky that we get to just wake up and do this every day, so that's the first thing. The second thing that we do actually have going for us to save the loneliness is Discord. Now, a lot of artists of all fields, not just music, are on there, you know, and there's so many great communities. I mean, everybody online has a great community. I've got one that's really great. we got a ton of people, the regulars in there. The link for that's at the top of the description. You should definitely join if you're feeling a little lonely and you want to talk to some other people. But yeah, Discord, I can't say it enough because not only is it the communities, but it's like the ease of how you can meet somebody in a community, get to talking to them, and then you guys can message each other and kind of build from there. And, you know, a lot of great music's being made off of Discord, especially that next generation that's like, you know, 15 and 16 and 17 and 18 that's about to be like the legends. Those people are on Discord making these songs right now. So, yeah, I really can't stress it enough. Like, if you aren't on Discord already and you're feeling a bit lonely as an artist, definitely get on there. Or if you're not that active, get on there. I mean, there's so many great people in every community. And there are toxic people, too, you know. Obviously, I think that's part of this is, like, once you get into these artist communities, not even on Discord in general, but just in the world, there are a lot of snakes in the grass. Like, there are a lot of people that aren't really, like, bad people, but let's say they're just, like, acting out a lifetime of trauma, probably, you know, and a lot of built-up stuff that's in their head that kind of makes them behave a certain type of way that they aren't aware of, and there definitely is that, but if you get in these Discord communities, you're also going to meet some great people, and I really recommend doing that, you know, the fact that that exists, and it's free, like, you got to get in there. The next way to save some loneliness when you're an artist is just go outside, man. Like, just go outside. I mean, every city has somewhere you can go or some kind of shows happening or, like, some sort of community meetups. And you really just have to look and find it. It doesn't even have to be, like, getting an invite to things. A lot of it is just, like, 
you know, go to a local rave. Go to the club where they play the kind of music that you're into and just be open and just kind of see what happens because chances are there's a lot of people there just like you that were inside all day, probably inside all week, and also are like, wow, I really need to, like, have human contact. You know, we are communal. Like, we are on a very basic level needing that sort of, like, community and others around us and just going out and going to these different places where this music is being played or where the thing you want to do is being done is a great way to meet other people. It might sound cliche, but I think everybody needs to be, like, just looked straight in the eyes and said, like, go outside, man. Like, go outside. Like, I, and I'm guilty of it, too. You know, I, I definitely am somebody who likes to be at home producing a lot, but if you find yourself kind of stuck in a certain mindset and especially that mindset is loneliness going out and just try to be open enough to meet some people it's really gonna help you'd be surprised like you just need a few hours of endorphins in your mind to kind of get over a negative state a lot of times because that's the thing you know a lot of this stuff is just brain chemicals a lot of it really is the fact that like yeah staring at a screen all day making music does kind of like take you for a ride and that dopamine and serotonin that's getting just shot out when you're making something great can kind of like, you know, come back to haunt you later. So you just got to get outside, do something to switch up your environment, and it really will make a big difference. I know if you're inside depressed right now, it's like, nah, I don't want to go out, dude. But just just do it. Just get in the Uber. <laughs> just try. Because I'm telling you, get there. You might feel a little bit hung up at first. But once you get talking to people and stuff, you're going to go home and be like, yeah. I'm glad I did that. And then, you know, the last thing here is honestly, like, don't be afraid to reach out to people. Like, too many people in this game, you know, there's a lot of posturing, right? Like, any artist, any musician kind of has to communicate a certain value uh, in order to get that value and in order to be seen as someone great, right? And I think a lot of times we think that means, like, follow zero people on Instagram. Don't reach out to anybody unless they reach out to you. Don't be too, like, open with people. But, you know, that's how you end up being super lonely and not really getting anywhere. So, yeah, really, don't be afraid to reach out to people. Send people a message. Send me a message. Honestly, like, any of you guys, like, can send me a message on Instagram. My Instagram is right down there. And we can talk about this kind of stuff because I feel it, too. I go through it, too, if I'm being really honest. I don't talk about that type of stuff a lot on this channel. But I go through it, too heavy so yeah like send me a message send other people a message you know some of my best friends right now i've met literally just because they sent me a message on instagram or maybe i saw something cool they were doing and i wasn't too afraid to reach out you can't think you're too big to reach out like none of us i'm assuming that you're not dead mouse right i'm assuming that you're not like a huge huge name i mean you really think you're too cool to go message somebody that you think made a cool song man like Chances are they're going to want to be your friend and then you're going to have somebody in this, you know? I really, like, I can't stress that enough. Like, too many people think they're too cool to reach out and, they sh you know, they got to be this tough guy and they don't, you know, just do it, man. Just send someone a message. Even if it's just like, yo, that track, crazy. Whatever it is, just get that conversation going. Don't be afraid. Don't wait for them to reach out to you, too. I know a lot of people out here think, oh, well, you know, I have an abundance mindset, like, I wait till things come to me. That's not having an abundance mindset, man. Like, that's just being lazy. Like, you can still reach out to people. You can still try to make stuff happen and still have an abundance mindset. But it's not always just scarcity, right? But, yeah, it's just like too many people are afraid to reach out. And honestly, to tell you the truth, you know, the biggest artists, the ones that have really gotten big and gone places, they're not afraid to reach out to people. They are the ones that they're going to be the first ones to send a message that's like, yo, that track is sick, you know? And they may not always be able to reply a whole lot, but I've always noticed that. Like, the people that are the biggest are actually the ones that don't think they're too cool to do that and make great music at the same time. So don't be afraid to reach out to others. Like I said, any of you guys could send me a message about this kind of stuff, and I would happily talk to you guys about this on Instagram or Discord, whatever. But, yeah, just don't be afraid to reach out, guys. And yeah, so that's how to combat loneliness as an artist. I haven't seen any videos like this and having struggled with it myself. I'm sure you guys do. We all do. Loneliness is an epidemic in the world right now. You know, when they made the iPhones, when they made the internet, they weren't really thinking about this stuff that was going to happen 15 and 20 years later that a lot of us are dealing with right now. So 
Definitely make sure to like this video as well as subscribe. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this because I would definitely love to make more. Thanks so much for the support, everybody. Check out electronic samples at the top of the description. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video.